Hi everyone, today I want to share another quick tip with you and this one is about storing selections in Blender using the free add-on The Forgotten Tools. You will find a link to the page where you can download the add-on in the video description below. If you go to the web page, which is on blenderartists.org, you will find a pretty good documentation of the features of this add-on. It's not just about making selections in Blender, it has other tools as well, which can be very useful. And I recommend that you have a look at the documentation and at the other tools as well. And if you scroll down here to the end of the first post, you can find a download link for the add-on. The current version is 0.5.0 and it works in Blender 2.8 and newer. If you want to support the developer, you can also go to the developer's Gumroad page and buy this add-on for, I think it's $5. Before I show you how this tool works, let's have a look at how storing selections in Blender works. I'm going to create a cube here and let's do maybe something like this and I'll tab into edit mode and polygon mode and I'm going to select these two polygons here use the inset tool to create an inset like this and then I'm using the inset tool again and hold down control and I'll do an extrusion like this If you want to store selections in Blender, you need to go to the object data properties over here on the properties panel, and you will find two sections where you can save vertex, edge, and face selections. One is the vertex groups up here, and the other one is the face maps down here. And if you want to store vertex or edge selections, you want to use the vertex groups. If you want to store polygon selections, you can do that using the face maps here. So let's do a couple of quick examples. I'll go to vertex mode and I'm going to loop select these vertices here. And what I can do now is go to vertex groups and I'm going to add a new vertex group and assign the selected vertices to that group. And we can do the same thing with edges. So if I just select maybe these edges here, I can create a new group first and then assign these edges to that group. And I think although I used edges to create this group, it's still a vertex group and not really an edge selection. And what we can do once we've stored these selections, we can, for example, select one group here and deselect the edges and we can select the other group and select the stored selection. And when you're in edge mode, it will show the edges and in vertex mode, it will show the vertices, but it will not jump between edge and vertex mode. Now theoretically you could also create a polygon selection like this and create a new group and assign the selection to that new group here and I can deselect that group and select it. And it looks as if this is a polygon selection but I think that's not really the case. And if I do a selection like this for example, create a new group and assign the selection to this group so what happens if I deselect this group and select it again, you can see it's not just the original polygons, it's also the polygons here at the center that are, that are being selected. Which is why if you want to do a polygon selection, you probably want to use the face maps here. And the face maps work just like the vertex groups. So first of all, you need to hit this plus button here to create a new face map. And let's make the same polygon selection as before. And I'm going to assign it to this face map. And we can also deselect this map and we can select it. And you can see this time we're only getting the original selection and not the polygons at the center as well. So while storing selections is possible in Blender, it's not quite as nice as the option that you have in the Forgotten Tools. And especially those of you who also work with 3ds Studio Max and Cinema 4D, for example, will probably appreciate the options that you get with the Forgotten Tools. Once you've downloaded the Forgotten Tools and installed them, it's a zip file that you can install in the preferences in Blender and activate them. And once you've done that, you will find these on the side panel. So I'm going to hit N and then go to the Edit tab 
and you will find three new sections here. One is called select, one is called forgotten, and the bottom one is the selection sets. And this is the one that we need for storing selections. So let's go ahead and unfold that. And you can see we only have two buttons here. The one on the left is grayed out and that's because we don't have any selections yet. Before I do anything else, I'll just delete the face map here and also all of the vertex groups. Using selection sets is really simple. All you need to do is make a selection and hit the new button. And you can see the selection is stored. Let's create another selection and store it. And I'm going to select these two polygons and create a third selection here. You can store polygon selections, edge selections and vertex selections. So for example, if I loop select these edges here, I can save them as a selection. And if I jump into vertex mode, I'll just store the ones that are selected as a new selection. And as you can see, your selections are being stored in the order that you create them. You cannot change the order and unfortunately, you cannot name your selections. If you take a look at this section here, you will see some familiar buttons and these correspond to the vertex mode, edge mode and face mode buttons over here in Blender. The highlighted icon over here will tell you what kind of selection you have made. So the first three are polygon selections, number four is an edge selection and number five is a vertex selection. Over on the right you have three buttons. One is for recalling selection sets. So if you click on that, the stored selection will be highlighted. And the nice thing about this is that, and you just saw that, that this tool jumps from vertex mode to polygon mode and highlights your selection here. And if I click on the next one, it's going to highlight the second selection we've made. And if I click on this one here, the tool will jump into edge mode and highlight the edge selection. And the same goes for the vertex selection I made earlier. The second button here is for replacing the current selection set. So if I select this one, for example, and then also select these two polygons, I can click on this button and the present selection will be overwritten with this new selection here. So if I recall the selection, you can see we now have the polygons here at the center selected as well. I'll just undo that by deselecting the two polygons here and then replacing the current selection with the present one. The last button on the right is for deleting stored selections. And I'm going to get rid of the vertex selection and the edge selection here. Being able to store selections like this can be useful for a number of things. I use them in modeling and also for texturing. Let's do a quick texturing example. Before we can assign selections to materials or materials to selections, we need one material for the entire object. Let's go to the material properties here and I'm going to create a new material and I'm going to keep everything at the default here. Then what we can do is hit this plus button here, which will add a new material slot and we can fill this slot with a new material. And for this one, I'm going to change the color and then we can recall a selection and assign it to this material. And right now we can't see anything because we're in solid mode. Let's go to material preview mode and you can see the selection is now colored yellow. Let's go ahead and create a new slot here and again add a material to that slot. I'm going to change the color to blue and let's recall this selection and assign it to this material. And by the way, you can also select more than one stored selection and assign it to a material. For example, if I recall that first selection and hold down shift and click on this third selection here, I now have both of these highlighted and I can assign them to this material. So you can select multiple stored selections by clicking on the first one and then holding down shift and clicking on the next one. And if you hold down control and left click on a selection, you will deselect it. And that's it for this quick tip. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care and I'll see you again soon.